she unlocks the door, he gets in. And so, you know, I'm hearing him laughing and talking. And I heard like a little kissing, a little hugging. And so I poked my head up. When I seen that, oh man, I jumped over the seat. And then he turned around and looked, and his eyes like dinner plates. He's like, you know, and I'm like, when Patrice and Kenneth met more than seven years ago, she thought Kenneth was an attractive, hard-working man, and Kenneth thought Patrice was gorgeous. It didn't take long for them to fall in love and say, I do. But now, married five years, Patrice says Kenneth has changed for the worse, and she's not going to take it anymore. He's not standing up being a man. He's not a provider. The sex is whack. I haven't been happy in the bedroom since Clinton been in the office. That was cold. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> yeah, you know, Yarn, I, I will admit, you know, I, like I did, I did smoke a lot of weed. I smoked from the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep. So the whole day I missed. Seven years of problems and neglect come to a head. How can you afford all that weed? I, I mean, you smoke smoking like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I know he got money. Today on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Patrice Johnson and Kenneth Hillary. Ms. Johnson and Mr. Hillary, you've been together for seven years, married for five. You have two children together, and you both have children from previous relationships. You do not, however, want to be married anymore. Therefore, you're here in divorce court. Ms. Johnson, you're seeking a certain sum of money from Mr. Hillary, and we will discuss that momentarily. But before we do, first, I'm going to tell Mr. Hillary to take that hat off. It's oh, cute. Sorry. It goes with the outfit, but it does not belong in here. Okay. And number two, why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Okay. It, um, we're here today because I want to I want to divorce from my wife because of her infidelity and cheating. Um, we uh, started out good. Everything was fine. You mm. know, um, you know, we go out, we have drinks, we, um, you know, we party, you know, mm -hmm. typical couple. And, um, you know, I guess throughout the um, beginning of our relationship, you know, I wasn't there for her, you know, like there, but I was because of other issues that I was having with myself and um, which hurted her, yes, it but did. I didn't pay. I, I wasn't like you weren't yeah. doing the right thing at the time. You weren't, exactly. you weren't fully present for her because you had some other issues going on. Right. You care to tell me what those issues are? Yeah, I mean, I, I smoked weed a lot. Uh-huh. So you weed. was just high. Right, I was and just she high. Could, and, 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 right. and she could talk to you. Right, right. Exactly. She could talk to me and she could. And I was never there. And uh -huh. she always had to deal with this and deal with that and deal with that. And why I'll just be You all, were just hanging you know, out yeah. high. You know, uh, yeah. yeah, everything was right, cool. Right, And so, you know, that played a part in the beginning. But as time progressed, you know, as, as we progressed together, um, then, you know, I guess it was like I used to always throw in her face revenge. Oh, you're going to get revenge on me. You're going to get revenge on me. And mm -hmm. then uh, one time she had told me, she said, oh, babe, I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the Walmart. We had a tissue and soap. Excuse me, Your Honor. Hang and, on, hang and, on. Let, let him finish. Let him and, finish. And, um, and, and uh, so I was like, okay, that's cool. You can go, you know, okay, you're going to, you know, that's fine. Go ahead. But something deep down was like, that just didn't it's sound right. right. So I'm in the, I, I, I'm in the bathroom, but, you know, I'm not using it. I'm just uh -huh. in there. And uh, when I hear her go upstairs, I came out the bathroom and I, you know, got inside the truck in the third passenger seat. And tucked Way down. in the back, tucked right, down right. low. Tucked down low. So she's leaving and then I can hear her on the phone, like, okay, I'm on my way. So, I'm, you know, at this time, you know, I'm getting upset. My heart is racing. I'm perspirating. I'm like, you know, I want to turn into the Credible Hulk. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to just tear out some seats and just, uh, you know, but I kept my cool. I stayed in the car, I stayed in the back. We got to a uh, park and, um, and she got there and then she called him, hey, I'm here. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, well, he's here. Okay, well, let me see what's going on. What do you mean? So I guess he comes to the car. He, she unlocks the door. He gets in. And so, you know, I'm hearing them laughing and talking. And the thing, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was uh, I heard like a little kissing, a little hugging. And then, so I poked my head up and I actually seen them hugging. So, you know, that. What did, what did, what did they do when they saw you poke oh, your head? Oh, man, up? When, I, when I seen that, oh, man, I jumped over the seat. And then he turned around and looked, and his eyes like dinner plates. He's like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm like, what? I, I was so upset. And then she, ah! screaming all, you know, you know, like she saw a ghost or something. And, uh, and, and so, you know, I was so angry. And, and then so I jumped out the car and then, 
he just took off running that way, and he did she, not run. And then she, she was just standing there. And Ms. Johnson, did you say you were going to the store to get tissue and soap, met up with a guy in the park, and then started kissing and hugging on the man? I did that. I did that. <laughs> And what prompted you to have a relationship outside of your marriage with this, this other person? Because I'm not happy and satisfied with my marriage with him. And what's wrong with your marriage with him? He's not standing up being a man. He's not a provider. The sex is whack. Like, I haven't been happy in the bedroom since Clinton been in the office. That was cold. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> yeah, I heard it. Now, now, tell me about his failure to provide. Does he have a job? No. When was the last time he had a job? Um, off and on for three years. For three years off and on? Is, it, is the economy tough where you are? He's is just it, lazy. Or is he just lazy? Just lazy. Is he just home high? Just home high, eating up all the cookie snacks and just watching TV. <laughs> M M Mr. Hillary, if you fail to, to, to get I mean, a job I, you know because what, you, you know, have other I, things you know, to do? It, yeah, you know, Your Honor, I, I will admit, you know, I, like I did, I did smoke a lot of weed. I smoked from the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep. So the whole day I missed, you know, I missed, uh, you How know, the... How can you afford all that weed? As I, Thank you. I mean, you smoking like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I know he's got money. Yeah, but it, it, see, a lot of times I didn't, I didn't even have to spend any money because I knew who had it. And I knew where to go and do my business. So, and get, what, you know, were you getting it from women? No, no. You just get free weed. I just get free weed. They did just like they. You You're know, just like, a likable guy. Yeah, I'm an all-around likable guy. They just like hanging around me and they like having me in their circle and. You know, so like after you stopped fight. getting high all the time, did you go out and get a job? Nope. Nope, I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> hey, you know, I didn't, you know, you I, I didn't go get a job. I was lazy. When divorce court continues, what has Judge Lynn wishing she were somewhere else? I mean, so <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I Divorce isn't easy. If you want to share your story, you could be a guest. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Patrice Johnson, who is fed up with her husband's laziness and wants a divorce. But is sex another issue in this marriage? Are you holding him to a standard he can't meet because you want a whole bunch of excitement that you can't get by being with the same guy day after day? Ms. Johnson, you say your love life is whack. Yes. Explain, without too much detail, explain what you mean by that. Okay, for example, I could do the lingerie, the high heels, the rose petals, the music. I could do all that. Right. Right? So sometimes I want him to come, you know, do something romantic and sweet. I mean, because when we do it, I'm in a mood, you know. Like, really, he lasts. It's probably, like, less than two minutes. That's detail. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 he doesn't last long. Uh-huh. <laughs> Again, we got detail, but okay. Uh, you're dissatisfied with your love life. Uh, Mr. Hillary, I never require a man to respond to that allegation. You may do so if you if you so desire. Okay, okay. If not, we'll skip right over it. No, I'm gonna respond to it. I mean, it's like, you know, sometimes, you know, um, well, with me, you know, I mean, I, you know, it, it depends on the mood. I mean, if I'm in a Excuse sexy me, mood or a romantic mood, you know, she know, I, we can go along. We can, you know, you take, your time, take the time and yeah. do it right, you know. And then there's times where you just want to get out and get ahead, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I've been so deep. You know, I mean, I've been all kinds of trouble here. <laughs> you know, uh, Ms. Johnson, let, let me say this. Sometimes men have a different goal when it comes to that. And every once in a while, they just want to go for the gold and let it go. And, 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 and sometimes you got to accommodate that. If, if You're on it. That's you just not it. it. It's more to that. Like, I feel like I have to tell him where to, where to, oh, wait, no, how hold to on, do hold it. How to, how to do stuff. Let me say this. And then we leave it. Just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> he won't know unless you tell him. 
And you can't get mad about that. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know where where everything is. You, 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 you've you've got to tell people years, what they need. What? After seven years? Even well, after, you, you can't pick up on a few hints there, Mr. Hillary? I could pick up on some hints, but see what it is, you know, like I say, if she's getting sex somewhere else or she's having sex mm -hmm. outside of the marriage, quite naturally, because I, you know, I've been there, I've done that. I've cheated before, you know, in, not in this marriage, but I'll, you in know, previous before, relationship, previous relationship. Yeah. I've cheated before and I know the games. I know, you know, the turning off the cell phones, the hiding, the, the telling where you're going to A when you're really over here on D. You know what I mean? So I already know about all that. And then on top of that, if you having sex outside of your, you know, outside of your relationship, the person who you always lay with is not good. It's going to be boring. You know, it's, you, you're not going to be really into it. You know, you're going to be over here no, having fun and Miss, doing with this. You you got, now, Mr. 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 Hillary's got a point over there, Miss Johnson. I mean, you, you, you were cheating on him, right? Yes. Yeah. And that's exciting in and of itself because you're doing something illicit. You're doing something wrong. Are you holding him to a standard he can't meet because you want a whole bunch of excitement that you can't get by being with the same guy day after day? No, he doesn't know what he's doing. When divorce court continues, what will Kenneth's side of the story be? I had an anxiety attack, and I really wanted him to comfort me. At that time, he was like, no, I'm about to go smoke. I'll be back later. Mr. Hillary, do you recall the circumstances about which she speaks? Would you put up with Kenneth's smoking and laziness? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with a case of Kenneth Hillary, who denies that the lack of sex is bringing down his five-year marriage. But is Kenneth a major downer in other aspects of the marriage as well? He has to fight me on going to school because I want a better future for me and my kids. So that's why he decided to go regardless of what he said. Okay, that now. sounded good, Mr. Okay, Hillary. Yeah, yeah. What is your current most pressing concern with respect to your husband? He's not being a provider. Okay. I mean, he just, he needs to get a job. He just needs to get a job. Are you working? I'm working and going to school. And... <laughs> okay, okay. I'm trying to like you, Mr. Hillary, okay, because okay. you're an all-around likable guy. I'm not going to give you any free weed or anything, but like, <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. But <laughs> right, she's right. working, she's, she's going to school. I support but her. She's stopped family. getting but high, see, yeah, but, but... See, this just came about. You know, what just came about? Her working and getting a job just came about. Your Honor, I just started going to school because he used to fight me on going to school. He like, no, it costs too much money. Don't go, don't go. And I made a constant decision to go to school regardless what he says because I want a better future for me and my kids. So that's why I decided to go regardless what he said. Ooh, okay, that now, sounded good, Mr. Okay, Hillary. yeah, yeah. Now, she was right. I didn't want to spend money if I knew that money... You're not money, spending money because you don't have any money to spend. If your money is my money. My money is your money. So you were mad so that she was spending her money on a degree to help right, get her where she needed to be to make more money for the family. Uh, yeah, you in a sense. You thought it would be better spent doing what? Spending, like, like let's say, for instance, PG&E, water, rent. You know what I'm saying? They got all these bills. And, and like I said, my little tools and fuse wasn't enough, you know what I mean? And then if Well, the, why don't you do more than two and few? I think that's the, the, that's the core of a that, problem. That is true. That is true. And, and that's what I'm trying to change. I'm trying to be a... You know, I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to be a better person. Okay, let's switch gears for a moment here. Ms. Johnson, what made you decide that after five years, you no longer wanted to be with Mr. Hillary? Well, before I got pregnant, I had an anxiety attack. And I really, really, really wanted to, you know, for him to comfort me. At that time, he was like, no, I'm about to go smoke. I'll be back later. So I told him, after I had my daughter, I just looked at the marriage. I looked at him completely different. Because mm -hmm. when I wanted him to be there for me, he, he wasn't. Just wasn't. Right. He just so wasn't. So after I had my daughter, it was just like, whatever. And your daughter's two? 
Mr. Hillary, uh, do you recall the circumstances about which she speaks? Yeah, yeah. Did she, that happen? It happened. It happened. And, you know, yeah, she was right. I wanted to go get high. I wanted mm -hmm. to go hang out. That's only because I was unfamiliar with this, you know, with this, you know, this little oh, thing Oh, listen, had. you were getting high because you like to get high. You were <laughs> high all the time. You I were was, having a yeah, time. Yeah, was, Don't give me any explanation. You were just getting high. I was just getting high. But yeah. I, and, 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 you know, now... You know, I see it for what it is, and right. now you and know. It, and it was all wrong, and it, it was, was all jacked wrong, up. It was all jacked and I guess, up. I guess the question I have to ask you then is, what have you done to make it up to her? What have you done to make her feel like you're a new, the new man you're telling me you are? She, you got to show her. You right, just told right, right. me. Right, right, And see, this, this, this is what I've been doing. I've been, I've been, I've been working. I, I got a. He you know, just started. I, 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 but that counts. Counts. that counts. That counts. That counts. You know, and you, I, you know, gotta, you gotta say, getting up off the couch is harder than some people think <laughs> if you've been on it a while. So that counts. When divorce court continues, what will Patrice decide? You have to take him for who he is today and not beat him up for what he was yesterday. You have to accept the new and better man that you got, or you gotta let it go all together. Would you put up with Kenneth's smoking and laziness? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. Divorce Court returns with the case of Patrice Johnson and Kenneth Hillary, who are in court divorcing after five years of marriage and two children together. Ms. Johnson, <laughs> tell me about the $1,703 you would like me to award you that are associated with a car that apparently he did something to? Well, the brakes on the truck was going out. Right. And I told Ken, I'm going to go take care of it. He was like, no, baby, don't, don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. I'm like, no, it's starting to really squeak. A month or two go by. I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. I was at school. He driving home. Oh, the truck is messed up. How? The brakes went out. Okay, so he done, he's swerving across the road. I'm not really for sure what happened. So come to find out, it wasn't just the brakes. The brakes said it was... Um, the brakes, was, the axle, the that, labor, and, and you want the car note as well. Yep. Why do you blame him for all of that? Because if he would have took care of the brakes when I asked him to, none of this stuff would have happened. Okay, first, she left out... Hey, you don't need to finish the story here. Here's the deal. Mr. Hillary... I like you. You did wrong in a lot of circumstances, but I like you. Okay. I think you're becoming the man you should have been all along. Right. And here's where you come in, Ms. Johnson. You've suffered through all the bad times. Now that the man has turned the corner, don't leave him for another check. Don't let another woman reap the benefits of the guy you pushed him into being. He's now got a job. He's working. He's off the couch. He's put out the blunt. Now he's going to make some money. Now he's going to work on his game. Whatever it needs to do, you need to reap the rewards of that. Don't get frustrated now. And when I say don't get frustrated, you have to take him for who he is today and not beat him up for what he was yesterday. You have to accept the new and better man that you got or you got to let it go all together. You can't be mad about it. And, you know, keep, I would keep him. And I would let the, the, the past go as long as the future is going along the trajectory you want it to be on. You'd be a fool to do anything else, an absolute fool, because you'd stay with him while he's sitting on the couch. Now he's up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hillary, yep. whatever made you change, I'm happy about it. Remember that your children are surviving off of what you do. They're not only surviving economically off what you do, but psychologically, they're going to learn about work ethic and tomorrow and studying and what they need to do from you. Don't, you know, don't let them down. Right. You made them. You got to do the right thing. Right. And she's hot. She's angry. You got to put a little extra effort into it because she hung with you when you were dead wrong. Right. She right. hung in there. Right. Thank right. you, baby. I love you, baby. She likes, I think she likes rose petals and all that. Pull <laughs> few those out. Right, right. Because right. she's owed that. Right. I don't know what happened with the car. It was both of y'all's car. You messed up. It's jacked up. You don't get any money for it. I wish you the best of luck. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom.
I'm gonna take the judge's advice. I'm gonna keep pushing forward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a um, good effort to make this marriage work. Yeah, the judge gave good advice. I might just keep on.